right. Who votes for the werewolf? Who votes for Gal Gadot? I'm taking names. (laughs) Gal Gadot remains victorious. Oh my goodness. All right, well, good game, you guys. I I would never not let a Sidney Taylor award winning illustrator not be ending the night on a (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, everybody. That was really fun. Thank you. (laughs) That's super fight. This is the Book of Life. I'm Heidi Rabinowitz. I've got a short bonus episode for you today. You may remember this guy. Hi, I'm Jonathan Auxier, the author of Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster. In our interview, we talked about Sweep, of course, but we also talked about board games. And when I met Jonathan at the 2019 Association of Jewish Libraries conference, where he'd come to accept his Sidney Taylor Book Award, We got to play one of those games together, along with a room full of other authors, illustrators, and librarians. Here's your chance to listen in as we play a round of Super Fight. First, we'll hear the description of the game from Jonathan's May 2019 appearance on the Book of Life podcast. Then we'll hear a clip of me versus Jonathan Oxier in actual gameplay. What was your favorite board game in the last year or so? Oh, good question. It's not super new, but a game that I really like is Super Fight. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Tell me. It's a card game, and it's very simple. It's got cards with different creatures or, or characters, and it combines a character with some traits. So it could be like a giant robot and then you pull another card for a trait that has tentacles and maybe another trait that uh, is chewing gum. And then (laughs) somebody else is creating a creature in the same way, and then it's a fight of who would win. But the fight, and I think this is actually an expansion to have it not be just a straight-up fight, the fight might be who is better at winning a debate, who could stay underwater longer, (laughs) who could roller skate more successfully. You know, So it's different kinds of battles. Oh, and then the way you decide who wins is basically just by convincing your friends. Um, <laughs> so it's very subjective. But if you have an imaginative group of people, you can have some really fun conversations based on this game. Oh, how cool. Well, I will definitely keep my eyes peeled for that because that sounds totally delightful. Super fight. Fantastic. Thank you. Sure. All the judges. Yeah. And then so all of you do is each make a case. Yes. Go. Hi. Okay. Lead the so way. let's see. I am an owl with cat-like reflexes, and I'm swinging a shark on a chain. So I have to survive the longest lost in the jungle. So cat-like reflexes are going to help me in the jungle because anything that's dangerous, I can just jump away. I could climb up a tree. I could run real fast. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm an, also an owl, so I can fly. Oh, wait, repeat your trait. I'm an owl, owl with cat-like reflexes, okay, okay, swinging okay. a shark on a chain. And so the shark. Is is going to defend me. Any predator comes to try to eat me, I will just swing my shark at them, and then the shark will bite them. So now you can explain how you could do a better job. I am so sorry, Heidi. Your answer is garbage compared to a hipster in a hot air balloon who shoots tear gas. (laughs) Tear gas is for obviously the animals, but also I'm in a hot air balloon, so I'm out of the jungle, and I have a phone with GPS. <laughs> and I know they're call. I'm just, it's a hipster in a hot air balloon. Oh, they've hipster, they've just been pulling it out of their skinny hipster, jeans. A hipster does not have a cell phone. No, a hipster does on iPhone. Yeah, too, like, technology. Yeah. You might have an ironic. Yeah. I, 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 I doubt you can, I, I doubt you can count onto the second hand the number of hipsters who actually aren't glued to iPhones. We all might know one guy That's who's true. really committed to the bit, and they talk like they hate it. Uh, yeah. It's not hip. You know, he's ironically in the balloon. <laughs> don't all hipsters have hot air balloons? <laughs> it's a little on the nose. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so that's my argument for the hipster. Okay. Hair well, I I would say that an owl also can get up above, you know, the canopy. So they both have that same advantage. So it, it sort of cancels each other out. So How's your GPS, owl? Well, owls have you know just built-in GPS. Owls know where they're going because they're they're instinctive. How is your owl going to survive the day? 
It doesn't need to. It'll wake up at night and it'll do its thing. I'm ready with my vote. Yeah. Okay, if we're ready to vote. Feelings will be hurt. Okay. <laughs> Everyone who thinks it's the hipster in the hot air balloon, raise your hand. Three of you think he's going to last longer than no. the other. No, 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 there are some other votes okay. there. Okay. All right, who, who, who thinks, thinks the it's owl? the owl? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Was it five so now to we, five? Oh, it was five to six. It was five to six? Oh, oh, so it was, right. it was six for the hipster? Yeah. Okay, well, right. in that case, sure. it's that have, so you keep doing your it. character, and you have to fight the next character. Oh, wow. Oh, he has to yes. keep the character. character. This guy's pretty resilient. So he has done a lot of unpaid hiding. internships. <laughs> 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 Just so you know, the game was ultimately won by illustrator Paul Zielinski, who was at the conference to receive the Sidney Taylor Book Award for All of a Kind Family Hanukkah. His superfight character was Gal Gadot, because he drew the card letting him pick a favorite actor. Her traits were that she was unaffected by impact, but she had no depth perception. He won a badminton challenge against a tween werewolf with jellyfish instead of hands. That's super fight for you. Hi, this is Nancy Chernin. I am the author of Irving Berlin, The Immigrant Boy Who Made America Sing, and Martin and Anne, The Kindred Spirits of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Anne Frank. I'm delighted to be here on the Book of Life podcast. And I would like to dedicate this podcast to my parents, Flora and Douglas Chernin, for bringing me up in a world of books and love, for teaching me that the most precious things we have are what we hold in our hearts and what we think in our heads. And the most important work we do is the work that helps others, that makes the world a better place for the children now and the children to come. stranger, say hi to Heidi at 561-206-2473 or bookoflifepodcast at gmail.com. Check out our Facebook page or our Facebook discussion group, Jewish Kidlit Mavens. We are occasionally on Twitter, too. There are lots of ways to support the show through Patreon and through donations to our home library, the Feldman Children's Library at Congregation B'nai Israel of Boca Raton, Florida. You can find links for all of that and more at bookoflifepodcast.com. Our background music is provided by the Freilach Makers Klezmer String Band. Thanks for listening, and happy reading.